most countries around the Western world, there exists a political party that centers around the labor-based interests. These countries come in forms like Germany's SPD, socialist parties like the very creatively named Socialist Party of France, and others like in the UK and Australia which are simply called Labour Parties. You depending. These parties are considered of the same kind because their structure, ideology and identity was designed for working people and often formed international groups such as the Second International. Of all this big talk between ideologies of capitalism and communism, this 20th century movement is not talked about enough. Many of these parties are responsible for most of the workers' rights we enjoy, especially those in Australia. In Australia, when the first Labor majority government won in 2010, dominating both the lower house and the Senate, they saw the establishment of a maternity allowance, increased welfare, land tax reform and pension extensions, the kind of policies that were directly in the interest of most of Australians at the time. Actions like these are tangible and contribute to the good of the world, yet in my experience at least, the only inference of his existence in the entire history curriculum is a very brief mention of the eight hour work week. And there's also Labor Day, which until year seven I thought was about women giving birth. 